Hey y'all! Welcome again to another video where we're gonna explore some topics. Mainly this time we're gonna talk about duality and singularity and the difference between the two. My name is Mikowai Maria Davidovsky. Welcome back to this beautiful, lovely video. And let us get started. I'll start off with duality. It is the perception of opposite forces interacting with each other. And this perception ultimately boils down to that there is good an evil, a creative, a destructive force, or however you wish to call it, light or dark. But it, duality basically means it's dual, meaning there's two, and they're the opposites of each other, meaning you have happiness, you have sadness, you have love, you have hate, you have good, and you have evil. And ultimately, it boils down to good and evil, light and dark. And the perception of duality is that you have two opposing forces and they're constantly trying to outdo the other one. So you have the evil trying to destroy the good and the good trying to destroy the evil. And they're constantly fighting amongst each other. And you're posed with moral dilemmas whether to be good or evil and which path you're uh, going to follow so on and so forth that's basically duality in its essence and most people in today's day and age we have a tendency to see reality from the perception of duality especially when we are within the first three chakras because in those chakras that's the only thing we care about within those first three chakras is ourselves how i perceive the world how i interact with the world how i judge the world and myself it's all about survival it's all about what i can get what i can receive uh, what pleasures I can feel and fulfill and what can I get out of this you know it's like in a lot of ways we're perceiving humans just as ends meet put it that way where we don't actually see other humans as human beings but we see them more on the level of what can I get out of this person? What benefit is that person to me? So we're all co constantly within those free chakras. We perceive everything in dual. It's either something is a danger to us or something is going to help us. And we judge everything based on those things. Whereas if you look from the perception of unity the fight between the forces doesn't exist because unity recognizes that in order for there to be existence you need at least two because the moment you have one no exploration of the self can occur. Therefore, you create the illusion of duality. Because what hate is, is just very low amount of love. What happiness is, is v very... No, what sadness is, is very low amount of happiness. And even in science, like uh, certain scientists say that there is no coldness, it's just absence of heat, you know? And so you have this perception of singularity. We're talking about 
unity now. So everything happens through and by the will of God, and there is only God, and everything is encompassed by God, and everything is God. And so everything that happens is the perfect realization of the game that the God is choosing to play within which all interactions and all thoughts and all words and everything are contained within it. However, if you're stuck within duality and you think about this, you're going to come to the conclusion that there is no free will and you're going to drop yourself into nihilism very quickly. This is why the exploration of unity doesn't appear until we at least master duality. Because if you perceive negativity and judgments everywhere and you see fighting and wars and dangers all around and you're continuously fighting or flighting, you know, for, in order for survival, then you don't have time to be thinking about how good life is. You don't have time to be grateful for all the wonderful gifts of life that you're receiving. Because you perceive danger everywhere. And so your reptilian brain triggers. And as I said, fight or flight response. Then everything is black or white. Everything either is going to be helpful to me or dangerous to me. And the dangerous things have to be destroyed. The helpful things have to be taken. <laughs> That's basically it. <laughs> it's in its essence, I'm sort of jumping between the two, uh, in its essence, duality, you could boil it down to you having to take part in this eternal war between good and evil, morality, and so on and so forth where your choices and actions have consequences that could be put on a spectrum between good and evil and you can judge in action judge each action based upon whether it's more evil or more good and we associate that the goodness is good and the evilness is bad and should be avoided at all cost. Um, however, the moment you move into singularity, you realize that there is no good or evil and everything happens through and by the will of God and it is your mind that directs and like hell doesn't exist until you create it, until you manifest it with your thoughts, words, and deeds. You literally have to create hell in order for it to exist. You literally have to create evil in order for it to exist and exhibit itself within your life. And now, drop the victim mentality. I'm not interested in any of that. We are here to move beyond the victim mentality. If you're sitting there, it's not me, it's them, it's not me. Yeah, it was my family, it was my friends, it was this and that. You chose to incarnate into the situations that you incarnated yourself into because you decided that it will provide you with the greatest and best exploration of the self experience that you could have imagined. This is why you had the family that you had. This is why you experienced the things that you experienced. And this is why you're in the present moment right now, exploring the idea of letting go of that victimhood mentality so that you can move beyond that and walk into the path of greatness and then move into the path of unity and be in a constant state of bliss. Peace be upon you. <laughs> There 
there isn't really much to be said about these two. On one spectrum you have absolute polar opposites continuously fighting to end one another. On another spectrum you have absolute harmony, you could say, where there is the recognition of the necessity of duality which causes you to love it, first of all, and second of all, which chooses you to only create the positive, so to speak, but there is this love for the opposite side due to the fact that you realize that without it you could not exist, because in order for there to be an expression of the self, you need to have at least more than one. Because the moment you have just one, there is no expression of the self. But the moment you start to introduce more than one... So if you're always happy, you do not know any other state of being. You don't actually exist. You don't act, you're not actually happy. You're just in a state. Of being but then if you introduce ha sadness into the equation then one moment you're happy the next moment you're sad and so there is this different levels of intensity of exploration of happiness and of what we perceive as sadness within dualistic perspective but in essence on you uh, on unity level that's all just varying levels of happiness that you're choosing to explore and you're constantly this entire whole with, within the unity once you reach certain level of exploration put it that way you realize that all emotions all thoughts or actions are part of the infinite whole and you're allowed to choose from a, an absolute infinity and I, therefore you have all of the emotions inside of you at any given moment and you literally just go well right now I feel this um, but I'm choosing to explore a different state where I will feel this emotion and so you go into the present emotion go infinitely into it to the point where it ceases to exist and from there you re-emerge with a new emotion that you decided upon but you don't do it based upon judgment where you go oh I don't like the emotion in which I am now no because that creates judgment that creates polarity that creates resistance and that makes the emotion stronger I'll talk more about that in a different video, I think. You do it by embracing whatever it is that you're feeling wholeheartedly. For me, duality is contained within singularity. That's how I perceive reality. <laughs> Too many teas today. I could use a cup of tea right now. <laughs> mm. That's it. When you're in duality, the idea of suffering exists, but the moment you move into unity, then it ceases to exist, basically. That's like, in essence, that's what it is. That's what you can break it down to. In unity, everything is absolute love and only love. In du duality, it's the spectrum of things. It enables you to play many, many fanciful games, which, when within the perspective of unity, are not possible. Because you can only play the game of a hero, for example, if there is an enemy if there is danger, if there are other things. So if you perceive there to be dangerous things that you can go and vanquish, then you can become the hero. But the paradox of duality is 
whatever you focus upon, uh, that's this works within unity as well, whatever you focus upon <laughs> for long enough, you shall inevitably become. So by going off into the games of duality and fighting of demons, eventually you yourself become a demon. That's the beautiful paradox. Therefore, you must choose a different path for yourself if you do not wish to become one. And another paradox is whatever path you choose in order to avoid certain realities is the path that's going to lead you there because you're creating an intention that focuses upon the path, upon that specific event or intention. And therefore, all your wants and desires align towards it. <laughs> so we just create a new, better, more positive intention for the future and, the, and follow that instead, focus upon that. Anyway, that's my little rant over for today. Hope you're having a good one. I gave my shot at describing the two, although there isn't much to be said. Most of the time, most of these things, they, they can be described with one sentence. And then once you get beyond that one sentence, you're getting further and further away from the truth. So duality means that there is the perception that there is more than one and it's opposing each other in our case. And unity is, there's only love. And everything is the perfect expression of love. Blessings be upon you. I hope to see you again in the next video. Consider subscribing, commenting. Let me know how you perceive duality and singularity or unity. Let me know what you think. I know that singularity and unity are not exactly one and the same thing, but we're simplifying things for now. We're try I'm trying to keep it as fundamental and as simple as possible until we lay down the foundations fully and then we'll build, up, build upon those. But that's in few months time. Yet again, have a good one. Bye.